why hello guys welcome to another video today we're going to be um we're going to be looking into how to use material service and what material service is so i'll get right on into the video so what material service is it is actually a little uh prop it's like it's in the properties it's called material service if you do not see it what you're going to want to do is go to file I'll explain what it is, but I'm going to show you how you can get this. So you go to beta features, make sure name is selected so you have everything, have save, and if anything pops up, listen, what you're going to want to do is click yes, I would like to restart my studio. The The features will only be implemented in, only if you in, uh, restart studio, if it asks you that. Now... I don't know if this has already been fully implemented in yet. I think it has, but just in case, I recommend doing that and stuff. Just in case you don't have surface appearance and whatnot uh, and PBR textures, you know, like built in yet or like added. Just in case you don't have that stuff, there you go. That's how you do it. And I'll get right on into this. So, what is material service? It's basic. It it is a little thing that you can select in the properties and you have these options called material overrides and, mater and material pack so I'm going to first start off by going over the material overrides we have all of our materials that go with that are for parts and terrain terrain you can get in the terrain editor by going to edit add and you could add in like for example some ground that would be our ground right here. And you could paint some other stuff like leafy grass and whatnot. So these are all different kinds of materials and you know. So as you can see we have other materials that they could go for different parts and terrain. I will now show you what the material pack is. The material pack is has it has only one option so far. I don't know if they're gonna add any more. I don't know if they're they I think what they should do is make it to where you could add your own packs I think that might be really cool and useful, but anyways, uh, I don't want to go over that So you can allow the use of 2022 materials and you could allow the use of old materials as you see here This was before the the material service update now. I'm not really a fan of uh, of I mean, I like the old materials, but for me, the 2022 materials is something I like a lot more um, and stuff, especially since I like to make realistic stuff. Okay, so that's so that's what you see in there. Now, how how would I basically use this? So I'm gonna insert some parts. Okay, I'm gonna make sure yeah my move tools around. Uh, I mean, okay, so make sure it's scale to 10, 1, 10, 10, 1, 10. Uh, so I have just this cube. Oh, no. It's, uh, there we go. So we have an even amount there. So this part I'm going to call material testing. So... I could apply any custom material I have to my part or my terrain. Basically, retexture them. Now, for those of you who don't know, yes, we can now retexture terrain. It has finally come. Roblox actually decided to be smart this time uh, <clears throat> and add in a useful feature. So, how do how how would I do that though? I'm gonna first show you. So, what you're gonna want to do is you. This is one way you can do it. I will show you the 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 old way of doing this versus the new way. So what you can do is go into material service where the plus icon is. And again, I know this tutorial is gonna be really long, giggity, but I will. I want you guys to watch all of this just so you can get a feel of how to do that. I will leave the dev forum post link. I'll link the dev forum post. Of material service and other and other stuff of how to use it. I'll I'll try to explain in this in the description if I'm not feeling lazy, but yeah. 
So you're going to want to add in a material variant. A material variant is this. So basically, the material variant has a base material, color map, metalness, normal, and roughness map. It has a material pattern that can be changed from organic to regular. Organic means the texture is not just tiled like it's actually randomized so you know how this is all like randomized and stuff instead of you just getting like a, a super flat tile for example uh, i don't want to put in any textures right now but a lot like sometimes in games they won't actually make any patterns kind of like organic they'll just have it like like as if it's repeating um like the texture like just repeats again like you could definitely tell when it does like there's like a little seam in there and there's no blending so that's what they'll do um and then you could change the studs per tile from from 0 to 20 but you can instead go to like 50 here this and other stuff so i'm gonna leave it at 10. now that's how you use a material variant there's gonna be a lot more of what we can do with this so I assume everyone knows how to do how to use PBR textures. P to to quickly refresh your mind on this, PBR textures stands for physical base rendering. They are textures that that are like three D looking, like they have texture maps. Um, they are just texture maps that will make the texture on an object look higher poly. That has more geometry, like bumpy more 3d and stuff now react to light but because we don't want to add more geometry which will like lag out our games or like make it'll go really hard on people's frames instead what we do is we add uh ppr textures that's a way to sum it up for you so i assume you guys all know about the roughness in normal map and metal i made an entire video about that i will link it in the description too so you're gonna want to add in your color maps but you can do it after or before. What you're going to want to do is make sure the material variant is going on the material, on the base material you want it. So let's say I want my material on plastic. I'm going to do that right now. So I have it on plastic. I'll go to material service. Then I'll go to, I'm going to name this, uh, let's see concrete variant so i named it concrete variant okay so i'm gonna so once i have all of my textures in okay let, let's say i do i will go into here scroll down like you know look around oh i see plastic so i will add in my concrete variant now as you can see there's no texture it is smooth, like like smooth plastic. But once I add plastic, you see this stuff here. Like you can see, it's bumpy and whatnot. I you have your plastic texture, but because I have no textures, there's nothing here. So that is what that's what it should look like if you have no textures. But if I I assume you do, but okay. So. Now, I will show you the proper way of how to do this. So, what you're going to want to do is go to Material Manager. By doing what I'm going to do here, it will automatically create a new material variant for you. It will put all the textures in and stuff, and you could just, it, it, it's a lot easier. So, this is called the Material Manager. You could find this in the Model tab and in the Home tab. So, go to Model tab or Home go by where it says part in between color you find your you find the you find the little icon that says material manager make sure that is selected and you have it out you'll get this entire like you'll get this like tiny window right here and stuff so this it has a drop down menu that goes with con that has materials concrete fabric ground metal and organic like organic materials glacier ice and salt special materials like f force field and neon translucent as like in glass and yeah so mainly um 
I love the new concrete material, by the way. Sorry. Just have to name that out there. So, I do not know what this does. Use materials tool. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, sorry. I just learned something. So, you can change things, by the way. So, yeah, I'll... I'll yeah. By the way, if you didn't know what I just did, like, five seconds ago, um... You can change things. So, actually, they had that feature right here to where you could actually select things and change the material and stuff. And they added it back in here. It's really cool. Use materials tool. I like that. Okay. So, back. Going back to focusing on here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to click the plus button. Create a material variant. I'm going to call this uh, concrete material and i'll be back on i'll be right back with my materials okay so i didn't want to go with concrete right now i just didn't feel like it so instead i went with like a forest grass i already have this uploaded but i'm just gonna redo it and stuff so i'm gonna go go down here my, you could select whether you want your material pattern to be regular or organic you can select the studs per tile i'm just gonna keep I'm going to keep everything regular right now and stuff just so you know what it looks like. I will save this material variant. Now, what I'm going to go do is go over here so everything is all correct. Now, this is what my material would look like. It looks really good. I like it. So, now you're going to want to go to material service. Go to grass. You could either type it in. Or you could just go down to this drop down menu and select for forest grass. Okay, so now that I have my texture, it may look really dark and stuff. So, what you're going to want to do is since I have it for grass, I'm going to disable the decoration. Now, you see, I already have my terrain texture. Everything, it looks really good. But you can see here, this is what regular looks like. There is no blend. There's like. Well, there is blending, sort of, but it's just, it's repeated. It's, it, it doesn't look natural. So if you want to go to material pattern, select organic, this is what should happen. Right here, we see that we have a very nice material pattern. Hold on, let me actually go to material colors. I want to lighten this up. There we go. Very good. See, it looks a lot better now. You can tell that there's a lot more variation. Yeah, so that is how you use material service. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe comment down if you have any other questions please let me know of that please please let me know your questions uh, and concerns i will see you guys in the next tutorial goodbye